I'm praying and I'm saying, Lord, I think they're, this person's astral, you know, astral projecting into my house. What do I do? There was a spiritual attack, okay, on him where rituals were done against him. The same ones know how to summon a spirit, conjure, target you to send warfare against you. He, he told uh, his wife, Shelly, goodbye because he thought that, that he was going to die that night. We're talking about astral projection. You know, I told you this video that I did with Russ was one of the last ones I did with him, but it was the most passionate. Tom, um, did he talk to you about astral projection? Did you ever have ever having conversations with Russ about people astroing out? Oh, yeah, that's something that Russ talked about and taught a lot. And the people that we engaged, the people that were reaching out for help, they had this ability. Many of them had this ability to be able to do this. Yeah. And uh, this is a demonic ability, and it's also taught in military. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's watch the next segment of this video, Tom. And I want to talk about this because there's something that Russ said that really struck a chord. And I really want to talk about this. I have to talk about it. I have a need to. And that's one of the reasons I have you on the show. so You can talk to me about it. But um, let's roll this next clip. This is me and Russ uh, talking about astral projection in one of the last interviews. I did with him before he went on to be with the Lord. The, the experience I had, the first experience I had was way in the 90s in the Cy Warrior from Fort Bragg, highly trained, high level program model, all that kind of stuff. Most powerful one I've ever met. So I'm middle of the night, three o'clock, I wake up. I, I feel like there's a person in my house. I begin to go look. I'm in a hallway, looking down the hallway. I have a whole distinct feeling. There, I'm looking, I'm, I'm like, I'm thinking there's a person standing in front of me but there's also something very evil and wrong. The Spirit of God's giving me warning. So I, I'm like, I'm, I'm praying and I'm saying, Lord, I think they're, this person's astral, you know, astral projecting into my house. What do I do? The Spirit of God says, target the demon that empowers them. I prayed against that demon, wow. commanded it to be bound and broken, broke to break its power. Uh, everything was clear, went back to bed. Next day, true story, before, I'm telling you before God, this true story. Next day, the Psy Warrior calls me. Right. When I was, they said to me, when I was in your house in the hallway last night, Russ, when you targeted the spirit that empowers me to do this, as soon as you did that, the spirit was broken off. I was snapped back into my body immediately. Wow. Okay, so some, you said a psy warrior. This is a guy that is a demonic that projects his sure. spirit out. Sure. It's projected it into your house, I guess, to do evil to in, of sure. some sort. Yeah. You came against it in yep. the name of Jesus. It went away. Sure. And that guy told you yep. that the minute you did that, or you told him you did that, he goes, boom, yep. came right back. Yeah. In. Yeah. I well, didn't even have. I didn't have to so, tell them. They told me. They That's, told you. Yeah. I didn't want to give them no lead. I. They said. They said, Russ, when we were looking at you in that hallway, when you when you attacked our spirit, they call it a spirit, a demon, it's right? A demon, um, and commanded to be, you know, and it, it left. It it, it it couldn't do anything. Right. And instantly, yeah. I was snapped back to my body. So, wow. they uh, they knew that, and now we and then we we learn, I mean, now we got I've got you know over twenty years of engaging that issue again and again. Right. There's a distinct feeling when it's astral projection. A different feeling if there's summoning. And here's another side of this: the same ones know how to summon a spirit, conjure, target you to send warfare against you. New levels of warfare. Wow. New levels of warfare. Is this, and to get back to the persecution of Christians, is this why you think the military might be might be involved, involved in this? And if so, are they going to be for us or against us well, in, in the end times? Well, prior to the great chaos and the breaking down, the shadow system will infiltrate and be really a supernaturally shadow system okay. in the political, military, economic, and technological worlds. Okay. I already believe they're there. Okay. And so when the call comes, this is all related to the red horse prophecy I mentioned in the conference, okay. which 99% of Christians in 10 years, when I ask this question, how many know the content of the red horse prophecy? 99% of the time, no one, no one knows. It is a prophecy about the initiation of the multi-continental release of those who are going to slaughter, persecute Christians, go after, to bring everything down. Wow. It is super. It is supernaturally wow. uh, done by them. 
I wrote that, that's where the term Black Awakening, the Black Awakening, the book, is tied into the Red Horse Prophecy. Wow, you know, I wrote The Last Evangelist, I'm yeah. getting ready to shoot it. I've got to go back and rewrite some of the episodes and work in the <laughs> sure. astral projection, because sure. this brings it to a whole new level. Because I would go, Lord, how could this happen? Well, when you're fighting this warfare mm -hmm. on another level, mm -hmm. and most Christians, Russ, don't yeah. even, I mean, they're clueless. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So, so what you're saying is a lot of people that see demonic beings in their house or around, this could be someone projecting yeah. themselves sure. into that. Sure. Okay, so, Tom... Russ was talking about a Psy warrior in his house. Um, he, he battled someone that had astraled out in his house. That, you heard him say that, right? Mm -hmm. There's no doubt that the people that Russ was making angry, uh, they did this sort of thing. They did rituals, okay? They, they did rituals to appease demons. That means spilling blood, whether... Uh, animal or human blood, okay? And uh, they summon demons and they send demons. Uh, do they have the ability to uh, to do that? They absolutely do. I really believe they do. Is that what happened to Russ? I cannot say that 100%. But I, I will say this, and this is pretty public, okay? Uh, Russ, uh, about five or six years ago, uh, he was on death's door. And he, you can look at the archives. And he admits, okay, that um, there was a spiritual attack, okay, on him where rituals were done against him, okay? And he had it confirmed through three different people, including himself. And he tells the story where he thought, he, he told uh, his wife Shelly goodbye because he thought that, that he was going to die that night, okay? Uh, it was it was really a brutal time for him, and I, I remember this, and I remember this, you know, him telling me the stories, and he's also shared them on air as well. So uh, Russ was in the line of work where these types of things happen. Now I do want to say this: Russ knew how to fight it. Okay, Russ knew how to battle it. Russ uh, he taught us to strike first. Okay, and that's mm -hmm. what we do. And um, why are we vulnerable sometimes? I don't know. OK, uh, sometimes we are. Uh, we know how to fight it. I've been attacked spiritually. I've had rituals done against me and I learned how to fight them, uh, you know, and uh, sometimes I, you know, there, there have been times where it's got the best of me, you know, but yeah. with the with the teaching and the training, uh, what I always tell people is we learn how to win more than we than we lose. Yeah, exactly. Well, here's the thing. Russ was talking about being targeted in this video. He was talking about supernaturally enhanced. He was talking about the Psy Warrior. He was talking about the SRA's mission uh, to serve in reigning in the new world order. Okay? I don't think for one moment, for one moment, that Russ had a battle with the Psy Warrior and lost. I do not believe that. OK, so that's not what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. Please understand. What I will say could be a possibility conjecture. Um, is that Russ was in the midst of battles. In other words, he was in a war. Right. Um, and I'm going to say something, Tom, I haven't said before. But I'm going to say it. Possibly. The Lord said. It's time for you to come on home, son. In these last days, people will worship false gods. As the Antichrist arises, Christians will be persecuted. David Hevner Investigates is proud to bring you End Times Investigations, a new DVD series containing over eight hours of interviews, commentaries, and teaching on Illuminati and the New World Order, Satanism, miracles and healings, the Antichrist and one world religion. Hi, I'm David Hevener, and I'm proud to bring you this brand new DVD collection, In Times Investigations. David reveals how the media is working hand in hand with the Antichrist system. Order now and receive this special DVD collection. Text bonus to 41444 or davidhevner.tv slash order. Call toll-free 844-806-0006. Text BONUS to 41444 
or davidhevner.tv slash order. Call toll free 844-806-0006. There's a practice, an ancient practice, where one's spirit leaves their body. It's called astral projection. Okay, so dreams. Could this be a form of astral projection? I can tell you that practitioners on the other side, yeah. and ex-Satanists will tell you what I'm going to say. Okay. We target your dreams. A woman woke up. She felt the presence of something in the doorway yeah. that was trying to pull her out of her flesh. And what she did was call out to the name of Jesus and bang, that attack stopped. She went back into her body. She woke up. The, the New Agers call it the, the astral plane. It's sort of like a parallel dimension. A lot of times people will experience things like uh, sleep paralysis. It's real, but lethal. Real, but counterfeit. Real, but, but uh, completely in error. There's a risk of insanity. God is totally against it. If the church was doing its job, would New Age and astral projection be so prevalent amongst 